Hey, you peach and scouters, Justin here, and I have a really great campfire joke for you. Are you ready for it? Why is the number eight so afraid of the number seven? Hmm, think about it. Do you give up? It's because the number seven ate the number nine. Get it? It ate the number nine. That's a really great campfire joke. The reason I bring it up is because today, I thought it might be fun to go over some not fundamentals, but then also learn one of my favorite scouting knots, the figure eight knot. So, we're going to talk about two knots today. We're going to talk about an overhand knot, which is the knot that you use every day to tie your shoes, and then how it both compares and differs from the figure eight knot. We're going to tie the figure eight knot on one side of our rope and the overhand knot on the other, and then we'll compare them. Before we get started, I'd like to go over three rules of knot tying and see if you can remember them. They'll apply to every knot you tie. So as you learn more and more knots, I want you to think of these three rules and see if they apply. I bet they will. Okay, rule number one. Any knot we tie should be easy to tie. Let's try that overhand knot real quick. Ready? Let's take the right side over the left and loop it under and pull. There we go. We've made an overhand knot. Some people even call it a pretzel knot. This knot was very easy to tie, right? We do it every day. So it follows rule number one. Rule number two is any knot we tie, once it's tied, should stay tied. Because think about it. If we tied a knot and then we put some pressure on it and it came untied, why would we tie that knot? So our overhand knot, when we pull on it, stays tied. So it follows rule number two. Rule number three is a little trickier to figure out. The knot should be easy to tie, should stay tied, and then when we want to take it apart, it should be easy to untie. Because if it took hours and hours and hours to untie, we'd be spending all our time untying ropes instead of doing important business, like scouting business. So let's try it. Let's untie our overhand knot. There we go. Okay, so the three rules of knots to review are easy to tie, stays tied, and easy to untie. Okay, let's get on to business. Let's work on the overhand knot and the figure eight knot. So for our overhand knot, let's take one end and loop it around and make a bite. Then let's take this tail and we're gonna come around and go right through the loop and then pull it tight. There we go, there's an overhand knot. Now let's come to the other end of the rope and let's start in the same way to make that bite, and then instead of coming around and through, let's go the whole way around and come through this side. So we're gonna go all the way around and then down through the top. There we go. Okay, so now we have an overhand knot and a figure eight knot. The only difference between these two knots is the figure eight has an extra loop in it, which makes it twice as strong. Okay. What else could we do with our overhand knot and our figure eight knot? Hmm. What if we wanted to make a loop in the end of the rope, like when we tied our bowline? Let's try it with the overhand knot. Let's overlap the rope, and then using the whole part we overlapped, let's go around, and then let's go down through and pull. There we go. Now we've got a little loop at the end of our rope. What if we tried this on the other side with the figure eight knot? Okay, let's double it over itself. Then let's make our loop. Then instead of coming through this side, let's go the whole way around and through the top and pull. There we go. We made a loop on this side too. Again, see how they look very similar? The only difference is our figure eight knot has an extra loop in it, which makes it extra strong. So, depending on what you need to do, you can use either the overhand knot, or if you wanna get fancy, the figure eight knot. I hope that you practice both of these knots at home and become experts at them, like you've become experts at all the other knots we've tied. Also, I hope that you think about our three rules of knots as you tie not only the overhand knot and the figure eight knot, but every other knot you work on from now on. Thanks for stopping by today, and over the next 30 days, remember, stay safe and stay scouting.